Hey guys, so this is going to be opening 040, the C Otter opening. So this is basically an extension of the Ganglion opening uh, highlighted in opening 039. Just a one move extension, but we'll actually discuss uh, probably a few lines that are deeper. So let's take a look at the sequence. So you start off with F5 with black and white goes to D6 and you go to actually the cat variation of c4 instead of the usual tiger the rose bill or maybe the rose so you go to c4 and white responses uh, with g5 which is actually the ganglion opening so usually you have two options over here one is to just uh, make that diagonal cut across keep your discs compact as possible and of course another one is to be probably more active in terms of trying to intersect that uh, two disc that your opponent just flipped uh, without being too dispersive as much as maybe g6. e8 is not too great because uh, it allows white to regroup easily to either one of uh, c5 perhaps or f6. So f6 over here is actually the book move uh, for black to actually respond right now. So let's take a look at this uh, c author opening. So with f6, that is actually the start of the C author opening. Uh, usually it does limit the options for white, in a sense that if white wants to go to the best move, there is only one move, but uh, quite limited sequences for white. Um, and it usually leads to very early edge play sequences. So if you're really good at edge play, this would actually give you the advantage of actually um, you know, trying to get that advantage uh, or that lead uh, right from the start of the game. So of course the flip side is that usually even though that there are limited options for your opponent uh, playing white, it could actually be quite easily uh, derived just by thinking about groups small inside or more of a centralization logic. So of course for black it would be a little bit more counterintuitive. So let's just play a little deeper into the usual book sequence, white goes for f4, and black, probably you might think that uh, any of these choices like c6, e6, or g6 would be an option to consider, especially e6 being one that regroups your disc together, but uh, this uh, shape actually gives white too easy uh, cross back into c5, so in fact the book best move over here can probably be interpreted as fairly counterintuitive uh, to f3 but uh, that is basically what it is uh, the reason main is mainly because you control this f5 disc and you control this axis over here there isn't a way that white actually can regroup immediately or centralize and this diagonal cutback axis is also controlled by yourself as well with this two disc of e4 and f5 so since you control these two lines, uh, white would then have to try to look for a best way to actually cut back while making a clean move, and that would actually be in the form of d3, which is for more of a point move from d3 to point down to actually g6 to make that diagonal cross and cut back into the center. So right now, let's see, d3 for white, and... In fact, black would then have to control this two disc uh, axis, which is centralizing, by playing c3. So this opening is more about trying to control the center uh, right from the start in a more upward uh, manner by making a lot of diagonal cuts. So you definitely need to go deep in book if you were to actually try to attempt this opening. So when white goes for g6, you then go for e3 and white goes to e6. So up till this point in time is quite a standard uh, exchange uh, for the first couple of moves for the C author opening. As long as both players uh, know the opening fairly well, you would probably reach this stage where you as black actually need to consider uh, where you want to vary it to. So c5 seems like a logical regrouping choice uh, in terms of trying to maintain a group small uh, inside approach. And then of course you also have the edge play sequences, which earlier I mentioned that this opening does lead to early edge play sequences. So h5 or h6 are basically options. So if you were preparing in this opening, uh, you would actually just play out a couple of more moves and just try to explore whether 
White's response would be intuitive or counterintuitive, and you can probably select your own preference. I actually do think that uh, perhaps H5 might be an uh, easy way to play out a C auto opening, perhaps. So on that note, uh, I'll end off this video on the C auto opening, and hope you like this video.